We showed you the beginning stages of Mesa Gateway Airport back in 2007, when its gates were empty and no one knew it was there. But now with the completion of a new terminal just last November, flying out of Mesa is the thing to do. We anticipate having one million passengers come through this terminal this calendar year, which is a record. It's up about 1,600 percent since the very first year of passenger service in 2007. There was also a 20 percent increase from last year's first quarter numbers. Sexton says it's all thanks to Gateway's only carrier. All of our traffic actually is attributed to Allegiant Air's success. It's a relatively new airline, a low fare carrier, competitive with anything you see with Southwest or the major, uh, major carriers and people really enjoy that service and, and, and those low fares. Low fares are nice, but these passengers fly to and from Mesa for a different reason. It flies right into Cedar Rapids, and <clears throat> I did have a condo at North Liberty, which is only 15 minutes from there. We're only 15 minutes from this airport, so it was very convenient. It's handy. It's handy. The service has been great. It's a smaller airport, smaller type of scenario. Not so much rush, rush. Well, our daughter goes to the University of Oregon, so it flies directly into Eugene, which a lot of flights don't, and it's easy to get to. That convenience comes from the fact that the airport services 28 cities across the nation, up from 13 just three years ago. And it's not done growing. Gateway plans to break ground on another terminal expansion this November, one year ahead of schedule.